cute one, cute one. made it to Cappadocia. This was on our bucket list for so long and we're finally here. The night bus was tough but it was fine if that makes sense. You, you get no sleep on where we don't get any sleep on we the night bus. We didn't get any sleep. I personally I wouldn't do it again and I wouldn't recommend it. Like we got here uh, what was it 7 in the morning? Yeah 7 a.m. Yeah. So obviously we couldn't check in our in our hotel until 12 so we said let's just sit down for coffee like the balloons were already up it was a quite nice view um then we got here to drop the bags we were lucky that they, they serve breakfast here every morning so then we sat down for breakfast we sat on a little bit on the terrace but we still had two hours before we could check in so we walked around town for a little bit yeah there is a little bit of faffing going on a little bit i suppose why what we probably recommend and we talk about it just planning a little bit better maybe just like knowing what's coming and like so if you know what your day will like and kind of realize when you, if you can check in or you're great but you can only check in till 12 it actually could be better off maybe getting the bus the next morning instead of getting it the night before or so yeah, a little bit of thing. that the only issue is we in hindsight you could probably take a 1 a.m. bus and get here like a reasonable time mm. however there weren't that many options I think they were like Four options and that was the latest we could get yeah. so in order to get that you would get here for 7 a.m. anyway it's a Turkish night so basically we're gonna have dinner drinks and a Turkish show with some live music mm. and some dancers so that should be really interesting I'm actually quite excited yeah. um, and then we're doing the green tour tomorrow yes green so tour that tomorrow. includes uh, the panorama view um, the underground city, which was my number one thing to do here, um, Iklara Valley, and mm. some other bits and pieces. Nibbling at. Ah. <laughs> the dog has bit one eye. Huh? They get extra food up here.
It's taking us. Do you know we can back up as well in a minute? Oh, this is worth it. Unless you go to the restaurant and then you jump the gate. Yeah. Oh my god, yes, Michael. Morning guys, so we're still in Cappadocia, this is day 3, uh, you can enjoy with us this gorgeous view with the hot air balloons, it's just incredible, it's so so pretty, um, but yeah, we've been so busy in the last two days, we've done so much, however we didn't really have a chance to sit and talk, um, but yeah, uh, it's, been, it's been a lovely time here, and um, yeah, it's been great. So what we did was we did the green tour yesterday. Yeah, so that's um, you go up to the top of a hill to see the panorama view of Gorena. Uh, we did the underground city, which was my number one thing to do in Turkey. Like I knew about this underground city. Well, I found out about it um, about 20 years ago. I'm not even joking. I'm not even exaggerating. Maybe 15 years ago. Um, and ever since I've wanted to see it and yesterday we just, we did just that and it was just incredible like we've learned so much about it and it was just so so beautiful just to kind of go through all the tunnels and like see how people used to live and yeah the defense mechanism I suppose of yeah it was just incredible yeah it was and then we had the dervish dance last night was dervish mm -hmm. dervish dances um, the dervish so ceremony? Yeah, that's definitely. I think that's a must. I think for anybody who comes, I think you need to do that. That is definitely. Um, I was saying last night to one, it's probably the less touristy thing from a feel. It didn't feel touristy on the show. It's, it's, it's weird. It's weird. So kind it's of not. Feeling. It's not really a show. It's a, it's a ceremony. It's a spiritual ceremony. So during the entire singing and dancing. Um, well, they don't really dance, they, they, they spin um, and they go into this sort of meditative trance so you're not allowed to record or um, take photos and then at the end they do an extra few minutes of uh, spinning where you can actually do record or um, take pictures so it, it was very nice for about 15 minutes to have no camera looking at them and everyone was just like sort of calm and just looking and just taking it all in so it was it was really nice and then we did a Turkish night. The... Yeah, we did a Turkish night two nights ago then. Uh, so not last night, the night before. Very nice. It was got a nice little meal, got uh, chicken in the pots. In the clay pots, yeah. In the clay yeah. pots. And then there was Turkish dancing. Uh, one is a big fan of dancing. Uh, <laughs> you like all kind of different dances. You, it was you really... dance anyway, so like different yeah. cultural dances. It's kind of cool to see that. Oh, and, 100%, uh, yeah. Yeah, so... But and the fact that actually they they took the crowd like they would do a dance and then everyone would come mm. on the floor and like join in. It was it was really really nice. It was such a cool experience. I felt like I was at a wedding. Yeah. And we, yeah we, actually, got, we got actually married did, for yeah. the second time. I felt like we got married. Yeah, just, uh, <laughs> we have this sort of I think it's a tradition when they get married. Uh, we're not quite sure. Today is the next two or three days are work days, but we're gonna have we haven't walked around the city the town yet properly. Yes. Um. So we want to walk around a little bit. Um, and have a look around, so we'll be clipping some bits of piece in that. Um, so yeah, so far we'll keep in the loop what's going on. So we're still in Goreme, it's our fifth day today, so finally we'll get to walk around the city for a little bit. The first two days were really full, next two days was more working, 
and um, now we're actually going to walk around town and show you the beautiful view of Goreme. So we're walking our way up to, I suppose, I suppose the back, the back of Grimme, would it be? Well, this is bang right in the middle of it. And you see this is rock formations and buildings and many, many hotels really, the side of it. Yeah. I'm making so many friends in, yeah. form, of, in the form of pets. <laughs> oh. Just like talk to me. So we're coming up now to the viewpoint of Garimi, so we should be able to see over a whole town and even to the left to the right of us sorry actually you personally I actually think it's a, a better view so you can see it coming to come into view right now oh oh my god there's like no one here yeah so we're here at 10 to 10 5 to 10 sorry and there's nobody wow. here whatsoever so if you're coming here i think the morning time is the best time to come here yeah it's 11 a.m now 10 a.m and not a single soul so our hotel is somewhere there i believe it's worth staying we walk all the way up was great we're enjoying our view until we saw two dogs running up the hill towards us <laughs> barking mad and we panicked i don't think what? i've ever run i don't know if we panicked panic, but you panicked, I panicked anyway. Anyway. what a panic and then that made me panic because we heard barking right so as we mentioned above the two there's dogs that kind of hang around and they walk over to us and they kind of want a pet and they want water and food and stuff but then one of the dogs is kind of coming with us to the other viewpoints. There's two viewpoints up here. There's one that faces the town and one that faces out into the, into the countryside. And we heard a, a distant bark and there were two distant barks. And then before we knew it, we saw two black dogs sprinting Running. up the hill. And uh, yeah, so then what happened was you ran one way. Yeah, and then you're like, no, this way. Yeah, so one ran the wrong way, like into... The viewpoint, the viewpoint where I would have no escape. <laughs> where she'd be like, like caught. Whereas I was like, no, we gotta go where we came from. So then we came back. And the worst thing was, we got back to where we kind of the base where like, oh, there are shots and the bits and the huts and stuff there. And then the dogs got up the top where we were, and then they just stopped. Stop. So, yeah, they were shame. But it's okay. <laughs> no one got bit. At least, so, at least we're safe. Yeah. At least we're safe. <laughs> that's all that matters. Here we are, ready to hop on a horse. Yeah. Off horn to we won't see the sunset. Seems like it, right, because if you see the clouds are quite dark, so there'll be no sunset, unfortunately. Sad
Um, so this is our final full day in Cappadocia. So before anything, I just want to say, if you guys are coming to Cappadocia, 100% have to do the horse riding. It was like the best thing ever. The, the scenery was just unbelievable. Um, and yeah, just 100% do it if you're coming here. Yeah, definitely really good. So after horse riding, I think it was the Rose Valley went through, wasn't it? Yeah, oh, yeah, so that was really beautiful. Good. Just having a view and just being on horse and stuff was kind of cool going through. There's a bit, there were some pieces, they were a bit ropey, all right, they were a bit. Some Had a bit of issues with narrow. my horse. <laughs> One of his horse was uh, a bit temperamental at times. He uh, slipped on a, as we were walking, he slipped on a rock and got freaked out and he went like, Ooh! and like, I actually thought I'm gonna fall on my back and that was it but yeah. luckily he kind of corrected himself quick enough and then yeah he, he was settled after but yeah, yeah it was a bit scary after that I was like oh my god yeah and then we but went no. for, for dinner it wasn't dinner it was more of tea and tea and cake and uh, yeah that was lovely and back to about this town there and then we had breakfast this morning so now we're off to the open air museum they say you only discover a place by walking it, and it certainly is. We were just walking towards the open air museum, and just like on our right hand side, just this opened up. It's incredible. So guys, as you can see, there's the open air museum, but we found this little church. It's closed for obvious reasons, but you can still peek inside. And I just wanted to show you, it's just incredible. So the clips from earlier on, uh, they weren't actually from the open air museum. They were from just before entering the open air museum. Basically, these like rock formations and caves, they were um, just before entering the open air museum. So we ended up spending so much time around that because it was like so many cool things to see that we didn't have time to go to the open air museum. Um, and also, I think it would have been very similar to what we already saw without paying the 480 Turkish lira. Um, yeah, so basically it's just, when you're coming up to the open air museum, actually there's another site just on your left. So go up there and have a look around. And we actually thought it very good up there. Uh, we were seeing the clips already, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's very um, nice. Yeah, and then we came back, work day, um, and then we worked for a few hours, and now we're out. So now the plan is to go to the bazaar um, and then we're going to get something to eat and then that's it for leaving because this is, is our last day um, and then we basically go back, pack up pack and bags. get ready tomorrow. So yeah, so we have to buy tickets now to, um, to Ankara. So there's a bus stop right two minutes away from here. So we're going to buy tickets there. Um, we have a four hour bus to Ankara. Um, so yeah, we're going to go and pack for the rest of the evening, do so a bit more work and, and pack. So sadly time has come to leave Cappadocia mm. and we're heading to Ankara, our next destination. Four hours by bus and we're currently waiting for it. Yeah, so it's quarter past, it's meant to come here quarter past one, so it's just one o'clock now. Um, so yeah, as I said, we drive on and uh, next destination, get settled and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. Am I stopping to start again? No, go on. We go from here. So. All right. So let's, let's carry on. Yeah. All right. Right. Well, look at the camera. Look at oh, me. Oh, you want you want me to start, like? Yeah. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> on the Night last. Box. Three, two, one. So For you will see. <laughs> Yeah, All right. Yeah, so basically, three, two, one. Uh, yeah. So last we've seen a boss would be on the night boss. Yes. We, so we already got here in couple of. No, sorry, I interrupted you. It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna have to block this all. Up. Delete the will. Let's stop it. Okay. Stop it. Delete it. And Make sure you hold it. And walk backwards. Walk backwards. Look, I have to get a new phone back. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I fell in my cell. There you go. <laughs> yeah.